Hi everyone, it's Don from Crux Terminatus with uh, an easy way to paint Grey Knights and this one is Grand Master Voldus. Um, I've done a complete army of Grey Knights and uh, you've seen some of those photos before but this one was just um, a simple model on his own and I wanted to show you how I did it. There's nothing complicated in here. It, you could do it with a, a paintbrush or you could do it with an airbrush. Personally, I did it with an airbrush just because it's quicker um, is it higher quality? I don't know. It depends on how smooth you can get your um, uh, your paint on a brush. So all I did was I clipped out the pieces from the sprue frame and I took all the mold lines off. Um, if you're going to be using washes, which you probably will, if you're going to be painting grey nights, you really do need to take the mold lines off because they will become very, very noticeable uh, if you don't later on. So the first things first, I just prime everything with uh, Vallejo uh, Black Primer. If you use a rattle can, that would be great as well. I used um, Army Painters uh, War Paints. I used the sort of bolt gun metal version of that to give um, the base of all the, well, the armor's all silver. So uh, I use that as the base of pretty much everything. Uh, it goes on really, really nice. Just uh, a tiny little bit of uh, thinner. Uh, and it, it's uh, it's a very easy paint to use. But if you've got a boat gun, uh, it would be just the exact same. I used uh, game color silver. Um, I've used a couple of different silvers uh, over time, but this one's a really bright, clean silver, which makes the, the armor stand out as, as being really special. The trick with the armor is to uh, give it a wash to get that blue effect. Um, it's just um, bone coloured or ivory coloured for the, the cloth. The outside of the cloth is white and the inside's red, which is you, like the other way around from how ultramarines are usually painted. So just, um, I used bone white um, for that. You'll see a slight flicker in the, um, the camera. I'm really sorry about that. Um, I bought a new light and I hadn't realised that um, the LED frequency was the same as the camera. So. Uh, I get rid of it in a bit, so uh, don't worry about it. And uh, I used um, just a, a brown wash. Um, it was a, a dark tone from uh, Army Painter. Uh, it's just what I had to hand. There's no special reason for doing it. And then I used Retributor Armor for painting the gold. Um, you can use uh, Vallejo Liquid Gold, the real gold range. Uh, it's my favorite. But at the moment in time, I didn't actually have it uh, with me. So I'm just using Retributor Armor. And once you put a couple of washes on it, you really wouldn't be able to tell the difference anyway. So pick out lots of detail because there's there's loads and loads and loads. And this is Strong Tone um, that I'm putting on here. But you could use Null Oil or you could use... Um, uh, what's the brown one from uh, Citadel? Um whatever their sort of sepia colour uh, one is called. But it looks really, really strong if you put on three or four uh, versions of this wash or layers of this wash. Uh, the box art makes it look quite black, so that's why I, I used a, a much darker one. I would usually use uh, um, Auburn Flesh or, or, or one of those ones. Sorry about those lines, but um, don't worry, they do go away. And that's pretty much it. And all I do is use some Azamun Blue um, wash. And what I do is I kind of dry brush it onto the parts uh, that I want to have a blue wash. And that's just a, 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 it was a cheap brush from a, I don't know, some sort of, um, I don't know, it's, uh, some sort of uh, weathering kit that I got years ago and just kept the brush after the stuff was all used. Less is more with the blue uh, to give it that tint. So, you know, be be careful. After I did all that, glued it together. I think it looks pretty pretty sweet. Um, I I did um, the purity seals and all the wax and all and all the rest of it. And I, I sort of dinged up the book a little bit just to make it look like it had seen a few battles rather than straight off the printing press. Uh, the only thing I've got left to do now, I think, is um, his head. <laughs> kind of left his head out to the end but all I did with that was uh, some Panzer Aces flesh and some um, airbrush thinner and I spray it on with that 
and then used uh, Reichland Flesh Shade to uh, give me some highlights. This is uh, the custom bases that I've got for my uh, Grey Knights army and I, I've painted them and Roddy. I should say, mention Roddy obviously helped me a lot with this. Uh, we painted them in a fluorescent green uh, over Rackart Flesh and white to pick out some of the, the sort of runes to, to make it look like there's a something evil afoot so that's uh, you'll see all the bases are all themed together with this kind of color um fair play to the fluorescent color it really works a treat um, so it's it's well worth picking up a couple of these especially if you do things like plasma glows and things the blue one would be really really handy um so only the head left to paint so i as i say i go over that with the the airbrush I've put some um, lightning on the thunder hammers. I think it looks kind of bland without it. And um, no, there we go, painting the head now. And I, I just mounted that on a little brass rod just to keep my um, fat fingers away from uh, getting anywhere with uh, the paint. Reichland Flesh Shade, um, a sort of purple wash under the eye sockets. Picked out the, the studs on his head and then painted his beard dark grey and then highlighted it with a sort of uh, wolf grey or whatever you want to call it there. So it's it's pretty cool, it actually looks alright and considering it only took five minutes it's, you know, um, it's a great return on investment. So that's Voldus, he's ready to lead my uh, Grey Knight army. I uh, really like the model. Uh, it's one of these strange ones which cut in very awkward ways um, so you have to make sure that the shaft of the Thunderhammer uh, it's actually in two separate parts so you have to make sure they line up and then there's a, a fold in the cloak which is a a, a gap uh, so I've tried to fill that with um, a little bit of extra super glue and some paint to, to make it not look as obvious uh, but I really like it, I hope you do too if you would like to share this with your friends and comment and subscribe that would be fantastic so thanks very much guys, cheers for now, bye bye